Hey all, Trevor here with Red Leaf, and today we're going to be working our way through some live resin graybeard diamonds today. I'm really excited to see how these are going to turn out. I've had the opportunity to try their Afghani Drifter on the flower side of things, and uh, needless to say, I was thoroughly impressed with how they uh, produced and cured that bud. So with that being said, we're now going into the concentrate side of things with their live resin diamonds. Let's see how these taste and how they smoke, you guys, on this Thursday afternoon. Welcome back, you guys. And like I said in the intro today, we're diving into Greybeard's Cannabis Co. Live Resin Diamonds. I uh, honestly am a big fan of any diamond-based concentrate that's on the market. The high that comes off it is, for some reason, just exactly what I'm looking for when it comes to the concentrates if they're not along that rosin or natural pressed based um, concentrate and experience that comes off there because they lean a little bit closer to the flower side where these, they uh, end up going so pure on the opposite side of things that they spark up my interest. So with that, you guys, let's walk you through exactly how we're going to do this review so that you know exactly what's coming up and then we can just start making things happen. So first, we cover the information that's available on the uh, box right here. It's gonna cover our THC percentage, CBD percentage, package date, price point, everything that could vary from package to package. Now, after that, we'll go into the strain specific or in this case, the concentrate specific information that's provided both by Greybeard Cannabis and I do have the Alberta Cannabis website for a little supportive information if we do need that. Then we get right into our review, you guys. So we're going to start things off by giving them a run through our Puffco right here. We preload that up and set it through the highest setting to see what the experience is like before we get into our bangers and rigs. We have three different rigs here set up with three different bangers. We alternate between a cold start, a low temp, and a high temp dab. We talk about each of those experiences after we uh, smoke our way through them. And then we talk about the high and the overall at the end. Now with this having a total of 50 points to uh, potentially earn 40 is the score that we're looking for to get that beautiful herbage, which is an average score of eight throughout all five categories. But with that being said, you guys, let's uh, not wait any longer and get into the live resin diamonds from the folks over at Greybeard. So our THC content came in with a range of 80, not a range. Let's just read this right off the list, you guys. The Live Resin GB Diamonds from Greybeard Cannabis Co. is a hybrid or indica dominant effect. It has a THC total of 86.8%. We have a CBD total of 0.25%. It was packaged on the 11th of June, 2021 with a 64.99 price point on these diamonds. Now, with that being said, you guys, I've had really, really good experience with the Greybeard cannabis um they're afghani drifter so again i'm pumped for these now with the graybeard.com website pulled up let's cover this information at more than 99 percent pure thca these ultra processed little gems are for the experienced smokers only graybeard's live resin diamonds are made of isolated thca formed into precious stones that can be broken into perfect size dabs Dropping one of these exquisite stones into your rig of choice results in an incredibly smooth inhale accompanied by a very potent high. The format is going to be a third, two, or sorry, three quarters of a gram, so 0.75 of a gram with a total THC of 87.7 or in our case 86.8. Total cannabinoids coming in at 99.9% and terpenes at 0%, you guys. These, uh, Live resin diamonds are meant to be the rawest form of THC available. And with that being said, I'm quite excited to dive into these and see what they have to uh, offer. We've got a very nice looking container for these concentrates here. Let's get our Herbage Scale intro in. We'll start covering uh, what these guys smell like and what we're going to expect to experience after that Herbage Scale intro. Welcome back, you guys. And uh, like I said, now the fun part is, oh, that's a 
That is interesting. I was not expecting that. So for this, it is not a twist, but a squeeze and a slide. Definitely like the way that that, uh, that, that is set up. Ooh, definitely has got more of a piney push to it for its overall aromatic experience, but nothing all that exciting on the aroma side. The jar itself is absolutely beautiful. I am loving these uh, above arrows jars, it looks like it is. Yeah, above arrows. Great jars, Grey Beard. Really, really great quality jars. The diamonds are just these massive little rocks. Um, let's go ahead and pull out one of the many examples of uh, just a big chunk of concentrate, concentrated THCA in here. And as you guys can see, it's a nice, big, heavy chunk of crystal there. So with that being said, I'm really, really excited to see how these uh, diamonds are going to end up smoking. So without waiting any longer, we're going to go ahead, grab one of them, drop it into the Puffco, and uh, get this review on its way, you guys. So with our Puffco, we're going to have it set at the highest setting. I preload and uh, run the temperature, and then once we start to see a little bit of vapor, usually two or three seconds before it notifies me that it's hit temperature, we'll start to draw and see what the experience is. Not expecting anything potent on the flavor side, but more so the high. Now, with that being said, we should probably turn the puffco on before we try and use it. That would help. So let's change the color setting to the white that we like to utilize. Press the button twice and initiate the heating sequence for this element. Ceramic bucket and heating for this in comparison to the quartz, I think will play a little bit of a factor for how smooth and how creamy the concentrate can be because i'm thinking that through this uh um, ceramic banger and heating element it's going to be a little bit of a um lighter more airy pull in comparison to the richer experiences with the banger it's ready to go now let's haul Hey guys, so our Puffco is gonna earn itself a seven out of a 10. Now the overall experience that's coming through that uh, battery operated rig was nothing. I really did not taste anything coming through there. It was a very light and watered experience, that's for sure. It definitely, um, it just hits. Like it, you, you honestly wouldn't know you're smoking something if you just dove into that, because it's just kind of a light vapored experience that leaves a very kind of mild grapefruit flavor. But the last dab that I took through that was some um, Salty God Rosin from Good Buds, which has a grapefruit flavor. So I don't really know if I can base it off of that, but I will give it a 7. It's an enjoyable smoke because it's smooth, it's easy to draw on, the high hits really fast, and settles in quite nicely. Um... But there's nothing exciting about it. There's nothing really getting me that hyped up or uh, ready to uh, smoke it again. In that case, it's just all right. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, try it with our cold start. I'm curious to see if uh, the addition of the quartz will play a difference in how I'm enjoying this. Because we could just end up getting a very bland 7 based review with the high definitely scoring higher than that because from what I can tell right now, you guys, this is gonna hit and bake a very good experience with uh, with this concentrate comboed with the four rigs that we'll be smoking from it. Now, that being said, we're taking our new Purple Genius torch for a rip and uh, hitting our cold start. So we're just gonna hit this up with enough heat to get that diamond to start to boil off for us and uh, activate and then we will start our dab and see if this continues to be a smooth creamy kind of an experience without any real flavor to uh to speak of so i don't know i don't know how i feel about this concentrate yet let's see how it hits in the quartz
you guys honestly this uh, these diamonds the best way that I'm gonna be able to describe them is like drinking different brands of water those water drinkers out there you're gonna know what I'm talking about there's Fiji and Aquafina aren't quite the same thing but they're both water just like Coke and Pepsi are both colas but they're not the same thing the water reference sits a little bit better with this one because it's very light it's very humid and it's just a variance in uh, what kind of uh, aftertaste you find yourself experiencing because otherwise there's really nothing much to experience with this outside of the high that's hitting but we got a cool start or not a cool start but our low temp dab that's ready to go we're gonna drop this in the banger we're gonna get the carb cap on it and uh, we're gonna see how this experience is cheers y'all <laughs> hey guys before we heat up this last banger I'm gonna let you know that the last two scores have been seven out of ten. Now, the cool start, we got a mouthful of flavor that was remaining and lingering over from the dab this morning. I uh, I left this rig without being cleaned. I didn't change the water, and I took a uh, dab of the Up in the Sky wax from Broken Coast this morning through this rig, and I was curious to see if the flavor from the terpenes and a little bit of oil that were leached into the water here, if they would play a big enough of a factor to dominate the uh, flavor and the experience that I had. Exactly what happened. 100% exactly what happened. And it's a little bit disappointing, you guys, but that, that little bit of a disappointing ends with the factor of, well, this is going to be perfect to combine with other concentrates because I know that this isn't going to pick up or affect the flavor all that much well pick up is the wrong word it's not going to adapt or adjust the flavor at all where it'll actually pick up that's where I was thinking about it the flavor that you're trying to introduce with the other concentrate and run with that and I like that type of experience but for now we're gonna go ahead clean off that banger we just used and warm up our uh, high temp one Heat it up for 45, cool it for 30, we'll drop a dab in there. I'm not expecting much of a change. I'm going to guess a 7 out of a 10, but the high, unless it turns ugly, she's getting a 9 at the very least. Cheers. Hey guys, so the hot dab is going to earn itself a 7 out of a 10 to match all of the... Uh, previous sevens that we've had with the puff cola the cold start the cool start the hot dab um all of them ended up getting a seven because they really aren't anything more than just a carrying flavor they're a uh, really nice and hearty experience for the high but flavor wise they're just a carrying agent which i don't have an issue with there's nothing wrong with just uh supporting the folks by uh, carrying on the flavor and a heavy THC high. And that's exactly what I would uh, buy these diamonds for you guys. Now, the high, the point that I'm enjoying the most is gonna earn that nine out of a 10 that I kind of hinted before we dropped that last dab. It comes in with a very well-balanced head and body combo. I've got a good um, back and leg-based relaxation, kind of easing of my body. Um, Along my arms, there's definitely a little bit more of the ease and relaxation. Not quite as much as I would love, but it's better than nothing. Uh, the head high has definitely got a touch of the mental drift and that kind of up in the clouds effect with, at the same time, a kind of uh, emotion. I, I don't want to put emotional ease, but it's got kind of an alleviation to it is the best way that I can describe it. Where it kind of lifts away some of it but not relieves you of it now all in all it makes for a very enjoyable experience a good smoke from start to finish with that being said 37 out of 50 what it earns and uh, I think it's it's fair score as a carrying agent it's definitely nothing that's gonna earn itself a beautiful herbage easily um, just because the flavor that I'm getting off of it is 
lack thereof. Now, that being said, you mix it with the Up in the Sky wax that I had this morning that was just left over in the water, folks. And the flavor was unbelievable. Or the lemon pepper batter from Purple Hills. You could have a really, really amazing experience with uh, those combinations. But with that being said, you guys, we're going to go ahead, wrap up this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I definitely enjoyed myself. But, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow when we're diving into our second of two Sugar Bud reviews. It's good, you guys. The Mule Fuel and that Crypto Number 2. Both of these strains lineages are incredible. And I really can't wait to uh, see how they both turn out this week. And curious to see which of the two is going to be the more enjoyable one for me to smoke. But we're not going to know that answer until tomorrow afternoon. And with that, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. I will see you guys tomorrow when we are smoking that. But for now, when the end card slides in here, all you're going to want to do is hover over that logo to click the subscribe button and the bell notification beside it so that you get notified anytime one of these videos go live. And then down below, one of the videos is going to be the most recommended for you. The other one is going to be the most recently uploaded. Please click on either of those and anything else I have to offer on Reddit Leaf. But for now, cheers, y'all. I got to go and get a workout in.